God bless you. I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon thee. I hope your mind is upon the Lord in the nighttime, in the daytime, every time that uh, anything good happens, any challenge happens. You say, thank you, Lord, because he is the one that is keeping us. Amen. Just a quick word, a verse from the International Children's Bible. I don't know why the Lord has just like got me on this because I think it's it, it simplifies things a lot. Reading from Isaiah 46 this morning, number four, even when you are old, I will take care of you. Did you know that? Even when your hair has turned gray, I will take care of you. I made you and I will take care of you. I will carry you and I will save you. Very simple. That's it. If there's anything that you're being challenged with, anything that you're concerned about, it seems like I got a shadow right there. <clears throat> Lighting is impossible always. Anyway, the Lord says, when you are old, I will take care of you. So many of us are the baby boomers or a little bit younger that watch this channel. I know that. And so what a comforting word. You don't have to worry about anything. You just have to keep doing what your heart's desire is as the Lord leads you. And he is going to take care care of you. I have carried you since you were born. I have taken care of you from your birth, he says at the one right before it. Family of Jacob, listen to me. All you people from Israel who are still alive, <clears throat> listen, <laughs> listen. So we just have to be thankful and know God is with us. Even when we are old, he's going to take care of us. When your hair has turned gray, how many women are going to the beauty salon? Well, how many women are just like doing it at home now? You're taking care of, and men. Men are like, okay, I don't like that a little bit. I'm going to get rid of that. No, nope, that's going. I think I'm just, you know, everybody wants something different. It, it, it's amazing. We're never happy with what we have. So anyway, we have to just know when, when everything is beginning to fall apart, maybe that's a good way to put it. Is that a little bit better? I'm trying to turn, get better lighting for you guys. Um, God is going to take care of us. It's a very simple word. And he's not only going to take care of us, he's going to save us. Amen. God is going to save us. Everybody is trying to figure out when he's coming. When is the rapture going to happen? Does anybody know when it's going to happen? I don't think so. We have ideas. We know the season. We are surely in the season. I'm looking up, and I believe you are too. But whatsoever, know this. He is going to keep us, and he's going to save us. And our little animals as pets, or our big animals, they're going to also keep a watch when we're sleeping. Did you know that? I know you know that. I got up this morning. <clears throat> I put this new uh, little card table up for my uh, digital art that I'm working on, my art projects. And I get up this morning, and who's on my laptop? You know, <laughs> that's why I thought I would show you. She was literally just sleeping on my laptop. Amazing. Cats are amazing. I love you guys. I pray for you this day that you keep your spirits up and know Jesus is watching over you. He's taking care of you and the Holy Spirit is with us. He says, if I be for you, who can be against you? Lean not to your own understanding.
but in all your ways acknowledge him. And he will give you everything you need. He'll provide for you. I love you guys. Have a blessed, blessed Friday in Jesus' name. I'm sorry. It looks like I can see that shadow. Okay. Have a great day. I'm going to get to work and uh, have a wonderful day myself in the Lord. Have a blessed day. See you soon.